And I'm going to use the old faithful Lion King to do it. You see, for many years, Niels ministered the Lion King. Many years. And I truly believe, I truly believe that this next video clip that I'm going to show to you is the answer for the world. Isn't that just incredible? Out of the same movie, the movie which gave us the answer that we've used for so many years to show the church in a physical, in a, in a theatrical form, the answer that lies within us. Pumbaa, with you, everything is gas. Because it is balls of gas, billions of miles away burning. But the one who recalled the voice of him who taught him the signs of the seasons. And then when he would struggle, the kings of past would help guide him. People, we've got a cloud of witnesses together with God who guides us, wants to show us the signs of the times so that we can read the time, so that we can be accurate in the time. It's the same. The moment Simba fell down on those dandelions and the wind picked up, it blew straight into the hands of Rafiki, which represents the Holy Spirit, the priest. And he, the, he immediately can discern what's going on because he is sensitive in the Spirit. And then he crowns Simba on the tree after he has taken the staff and said, it is time. There is only one country in the whole world where the prophet of God called the people of South Africa together, the Simbas, to tell them it is time. Today, I want to share with you the voice of our father, Mufasa. No, really. You know, a people that have forsaken the authority of the word of God will fall for anything and everything. You know, the interesting thing is, is that The Lion King is basically an animistic cartoon. This for Christ in me is a sign because uh, when it was prophesied in 94, it came out and it was a good movie prophesying and giving us indication as to what is going to happen. And, and then Neil Slabiskachnida preached this this year as well. And they're remaking that movie and it shows that the sign is being renewed amongst them. I, I just don't even know what to say about this. Good night. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted. Rafiki is the Holy Spirit. The Mufasa is the revelation of the Father. Uh, and when we look at this, we can see quite clearly, obviously, that it was Angus Bakken that called for "It is time." I just want to leave you with this and say that you can say that you believe in the authority of the Word of God, but if you hold on to different and diverse things like this to give you proximity in your faith, you have, in actual fact, lost your faith long ago. The Bible is the Word of God. The Word of God is sufficient. And do not run after these manifestations, even after these people. Because let me tell you something. What they have is not the truth. It is simply not true. It might sound that it's well structured. And it might sound like it is something that is given with substance. I'm telling you today, I look at this and I go, God help us. If we have to await a man to be the full revelation of the will of God, the first perfect man, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, was not sufficient in himself. And he was.